Well, hello again. Today we are going to explain one of the climate factors that is distant from the sea. Some of you told me it was a little bit difficult, so I'm going to try to show you this example to make it easier to understand, okay? Why weather in the sea areas, in the coast, in the seaside areas is warmer and more balanced than in the areas that are inside the country that are far, far away from the sea. Imagine I have this hot cup of water. My hands are really, really cold, but my liquid is very hot. What happens if I put my hands around the cup? Mm, my hands are going to get warm. But what is going to happen with the liquid inside of the cup? It is very hot and it's going to get colder. This is going to be colder, but my hands are going to be warmer, hotter, because the heat from here goes onto my hands. Now imagine that my cup, my hot cup, is the ocean or the sea, okay? The sunlight heats the water, the sunlight heats the water, and the water gets hot and warm. Yes, everybody understands? Little by little, the heat in the, in the cup passes from the cup to my hands, okay? My hands were very cold, but now that I'm touching my cup, my hands are warmer, but the liquid in the cup is colder. This is what happens when we are very close to the edge, to the sea, okay? The sea receives the sunlight and it heats. Okay, but then, little by little, the heat from the sea passes to the air. The sea is like my cup, and the air, the air in the atmosphere is like my hands. If I put them in contact, the heat passes from the cup to my hand. The cup is colder, my hand is hotter, warmer. So, I have the sea, I'm going to just try to use my my whiteboard to explain it a little bit better. Okay, I've got here my oh, my whiteboard. Sorry, I have here the C. Okay, the C. The C is heated by the sun, like my hot cup. Okay. Now the sea is warm and here I have the air. Okay, this is the area, this is the land. Okay, this is the land close to the sea. And here all around we have air. Okay, the sun hits the water, hits the water. Is that clear? Everybody understand the sun hits the water. I put my water here and I put it in a microwave like this sun. Now this is hot. What happens when we have in contact the air with the sea? That the heat that the sea received from the sun moves onto the air and now the air gets warmer, okay? Gets warmer. So, all the air around this area is warm. It means that in winter, it is not going to be very, very cold. Okay, but in summer, it is not going to be um, very, very, very hot because all the humidity of the sea, when the water evaporates because of the sunlight, is going to make the environment to be more refreshed, okay? That's the reason why if we are close to the sea, the temperature is more stable. It's not going to be, okay, there are seasons, but it's not going to be as cold that we are, for example, in Madrid or as hot as we are in Madrid because we don't have water close to us to regulate 
to control the temperature of the air. I hope with this explanation, this climate factor is a little bit clearer, a little bit easier to understand. But remember always of the example, the heat is trespassed from my cup to my hands. And now both are warm, not very hot, not very cold. It's a mixture. The sea and the land, we put them together and it's warm. No so hot, not so cold. Bye bye.